start popping up around in the neighborhood, right? Uh -huh. So we moved over to, um, I'm gonna still call it uh, uh, South Dallas, Colonial between Pine and Hatcher Street. <coughs> um, to, and it was a much better neighborhood. The houses were much better. Uh -huh. So I guess that's what you call moving on up. Yeah. And uh, like I said, more businesses began to move in there and then eventually the houses were just gone. Nothing were they, businesses. what kind of businesses were they? Were they black owned businesses or were no, they, no, they were white no, businesses? No, they were white Italian people had began to move in uh, from my knowledge of uh, with the produce companies and the farmers market. Got it. Okay. Yep. Yes, that's what we saw. Okay. That makes and, sense. But my brother may be able to remember uh, just a little bit more since he was older. You know, uh -huh. uh, than I was at the time. So let's pick it did up. It, did that area of Dallas start as a Freeman's town, like Jockey, or was it different? You know, by living in the uh, uh, shotgun houses, I want to say it might. I have think been. that it did. I, it might have been. Yeah, I think it started as a Freeman's town. But let's pick him up and then let's see what he can remember. Okay. About the area. Okay. When we moved to South Dallas, we had to contend with the chemical smells or the dead animal smells from the Procter & Gamble plant oh. over on Lamar. The Jews who owned the, the, most of those houses over there were moving out, yes, renting moving out, north. and selling out yes. to get away from that Procter & Gamble plant. plant. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So that's what we had to contend with. You're talking about environmental uh, hazard. That's what we had to contend with. So we knew at a certain time of day, we need to get in the house. Wow. Okay. Don't play outside because that smell. Yeah. It, it, that's what most parents would say. Right. Now, some parents, you know, ignored it. But my my little four, five, six block area, uh, our parents made us come in the house. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so that's what How we had to about that? With. Yeah. Okay, start over. Okay. I attended kindergarten there, and um, they had a big bus that we went around into the uh, black neighborhood to pick us up. Even when we moved to um, what we call South Dallas then, uh, over on Colonial and Pine and Hatcher. Uh, that bus still came in that area to pick us up for kindergarten and for vacation Bible school. They were, we thought, very important, dignified people with um, a real connection to God. How about that? <laughs> because they taught Bible lessons uh, in kindergarten classes. Uh, they were creative with um, uh, presenting the classes. You know, and uh, the minister, he was uh, very involved. He would come and visit us in classes. He participated, I know, in the little uh, worship service, the singing and the Bible reading, you know, scripture reading that we had. I remember all of that um, training when even as, you know, for four or five years old. And um, the great thing about it, they took time and they were patient teaching us to be young men and women with uh, respectability and honor to everyone we came across. Not only just there in the school, but it carried back over into the home. And you did not have to be a member of their church. They opened the doors and welcomed you. As long as you could come and uh, take part in it, they opened the doors and welcomed you. The ladies were finely dressed. Uh, they paid attention to help you make sure that you were dressed and if there was a need, if they saw needs uh, of, of a particular family, they would reach out and try to help provide, you know. They were a source of um, inspiration and also a source to uh, provide uh, income. They might knew of somebody in need of work and they knew the person, the employer, and they would help that person get a job very uh, sourceful place to go even if you again i'm gonna point that out if, uh, even if you didn't belong to that church now my mother was an ame methodist and uh so that meant we didn't belong to the church but that did not stop the people at good street baptist church supporting us in a time of need 
whether it was in the education area or in the religious area or you know whatever we needed they provided i remember the graduation it was very dignified graduation from kindergarten white uh gowns or robes shall i say and uh the mortarboard hat and the preacher Caesar clark uh he would just he would have a few words to say encouraging us in kindergarten to move forward in life uh and grow up and be a responsible adult and and get and he gave us our uh diplomas um sometimes those same bible school and kindergarten teachers took jobs in the public schools and there they were and so you knew what you were taught as a, a kid that that carried over to first grade second grade third grade or whatever elementary grade that you were in that carried over and that meant a lot to a lot of us as they provided that support even in schools now as far as the community is concerned again they would reach out to the black people in the community and if there was a need they would try to provide i do know that uh, at one point they even built apartment houses low-income apartment houses so black people who came to dallas would have a place to stay uh, I do know uh, it was in the Cedar Press area, so I'm not sure when they moved from Good Latimer, but I do remember it was a big, huge, grand church uh, with st tall steps, and everybody went in there, they were dressed to the nine, so that's, that was your first impression about going to church and making sure that you were all dressed up, you know, and looking good every Sunday, and how you greeted people, yes ma'am, no ma'am, Mr. and Mrs., uh, and you know, just being respectful all the way around, which you don't always get in today's society. Um, and they had programs beyond that. You know, the Black History Program was very important. Um, Pastor Clark, he was always connected with some civic endeavor for the city of Dallas. I believe that the city leaders would go to him uh, along with other black ministers to talk about uh, you know, the development of the Negro in the city of Dallas and where they were staying and all those kinds of things and, and what uh, sources that they could provide for uh, the people in Dallas. I know you were young, but do you remember any of the civil rights connections to the church or the neighborhood as a whole? Because I know that they, what my understanding is that that was one of the places, the first places that Martin Luther King spoke at was at this street Baptist church. That is correct. I remember that, but I didn't attend that one. Uh, but why, But I do remember Martin coming back to Dallas, and he had a speech. Uh, he gave a speech, a, a rally, rather, over at Fair Park Music Hall. Uh -huh. And the Good Street Baptist Church was in high attendance and supporting and providing uh, residents for those uh, who came from out of town back then. That makes sense. Uh-huh. Yeah. What about other locations in the neighborhood? Um, they had a... Uh, stores, anything like that? Oh, okay. Um, Good Street bought a property on Hatchet Street, now called Elsie Faye Hagen's. Okay. And uh, that's where they put up a community center to service the people who live in the... Uh, projects or the section eight houses that you call now okay okay and it still exists uh over in south dallas on elsa Fay hagen oh, okay. uh -huh. and we'll pass by there in a little bit i also you know like when school was out public school was out in the summer they had that uh uh still provided daycare for us who parents were working they still provided the daycare for us so the parents could continue to go to work uh, when school was out in wow. the summer. So they were great. That, that's awesome. Uh -huh. You don't see that anymore. No, you don't. No, you don't. A lot of people who attended there were, uh, you know, the up-and-coming uh, black people, the middle class of that time, right. uh, black people. But they didn't always have an attitude like they're better than the lower class. They always reached out, in my opinion, in, in far as I knew, they reached out and supported everybody and encouraged everybody.
That's good. Okay. All right. All right. And you can see this in. Let's see. There we go. Okay. You got it. So you apartments you? used to be over here. No, these were houses. Houses. Oh, these were houses. houses. Yeah. These were houses. All of this was houses. Okay. You see how they're coming in, boarding up. The next thing you know, uh, they're gonna be flipped. See, see new. Oh yeah. See uh -huh. new. New, okay. new, new, new. See, okay. uh -huh. see. These are the older. Okay. This is the older home. You can tell the new from the old. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Now let's go back right here. Oh yeah, we that's a new one. Right here. Can we get through right here? Yeah. Leave them. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's, that's a gentrification so. right there. I'm telling you. Oh look, that's an older home. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. See, older, older, uh -huh. older. Oh yeah. Older. Uh -huh. Real old. Look here, on the over here. Oh wow. One family used to stay there. Really? Yes. A uh, Baker, the Baker family. Okay. Uh -huh. The uh, daughters were. Uh, the one daughter, baby daughter, was uh, Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Oh, that's okay. Okay, sir. Oh, ma'am. Now, you see these apartments right here? Uh huh. They were all the way down there to the freeway. Oh, okay. All the way down to the freeway on both sides. You know, it was double. Right. Uh huh. Then they came in, then they started coming in and just trying to do something with the. Uh, What's that called? 45 on that side, MT? Yeah. That's Lamar for the over, about four blocks mm -hmm. over. Okay. That's Lamar. Uh, yeah, about four blocks over. That's Lamar Street. But when did they start this, MT? About uh, two, two or three years ago? Yeah, about two or three years ago. And then, and this one used to be a, a bridge here. You know, underpass. Uh -huh. Overpass. Okay. okay, and we're at the corner of 175 and what street is this? Elsie Faye. Elsie Faye. Former they used to be Hatcher. Hatcher. There okay. you go. God, don't never leave out Hatcher. Hatcher, Please. yes ma'am. But they didn't yeah. ask me. <laughs> I don't think they asked too much of anybody. <laughs> Just do what they want to. Uh, <sighs> all that used to be houses right there. Big service station. What was it? A Texaco service station used to be there before Valerio. Very popular mechanic uh, service. You know, lift up your hood. Take yeah. Your arm oh yeah, like full service uh, gas station. You see now? You see that Those... road right there? That's where the apartments used That's to be. That's south. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. All that was apartments right there. Yeah, all of that was apartments. Wow. So you see how they come in? Yeah. This was highway. Highway. Central Expressway. Central Expressway. Wow. All the way downtown. I didn't realize that. All the way downtown. So you see what they're doing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So they've already started. Right. And this was a very prominent black church. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, Greater New Zion? Greater New Zion. Okay. And and they have those veiled chimes, and you can hear it all over there. Oh, okay. But you see how, how they're trying to yeah, they bring are. it all the way down? They yeah. have brought it all the way down. You see? Okay. You see it? Yep. Wow. Okay. Wow. See what they they're really doing? Are? Okay, see, I see. Mm -hmm. They've already started. You're mm -hmm. right. Already started. Uh huh. So, MT, which is the best way to go? Through uh, Irving to try to get over to Higman? To Higman? Uh huh. Where we used uh, to stay, because they don't, they, you can't get out this way anymore. Okay, well, you got to go up here and. Uh, Turn, pull up to uh, Martin Luther King. Uh huh. If you turn and, uh, on Irving, turn left. Turn left. Uh huh. That's what I said. Yeah. So this road, this road wasn't. When did this road come into play? A long time ago. When? It was Highway 75. Okay, and it was always there. Yeah, it was always there. Okay. Always there. Oh, okay. that's a red light. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. always there. Okay. But they now they bringing it down and redoing it. Taking all the overpass down. Wow, okay. Yep. And redoing the street and making it level. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're going to Good Latimer from all the way from here. Yep. Right, it used to go to Good That's exactly right. Yeah, wow. I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. And you see how all of that used to be houses. Yeah. Up real nice houses. Really? Really nice houses. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm moving, sir. It's hard to see that light. It's right above the Because uh, I went too far. Yeah. That's all right. All of this, all of this, they're trying, they're taking it all down. 
Huh. And it used to be a major highway that went through here. For as long as I can remember. Yeah, the Central Expressway right here. Uh-huh. All, All over. That's what we call Central Expressway. Now they're throwing it down, making it a one-level street. So is this always like black neighborhood over uh -huh. here? Okay. Yeah, well, first it was, it was the Jewish, Jewish neighborhood. Uh -huh. It was okay. Jewish neighborhood. And like I said, uh, they start moving out. Right. They start moving out. And then it became uh -huh. more black neighborhood. Right. Now I'm gonna turn here. Right. Cause there's turn a forest here. street uh, theater. Going up. going up, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's the forest theater okay. that we used to go to. Yep. Okay. Um, but I can you you can see yes. where uh, uh, oh, overpass yeah. used to be there. Yeah, I remember the, the traffic, overpass. Traffic would keep going, you know, just straight through. But now they're flattening it down. It's very dangerous for seventy-eight year old man to cross the street to walk up to the church. Yeah, it is. You know, the lights don't hang that long to help him get across the street. That's true. You know, I and I hate that, but you know, they didn't ask me. Didn't, yeah. Didn't even listen for my vote. Or his boat. Wow. Yeah, I remember the overpass that used to be over mm -hmm. here. I remember that overpass was, I remember this whole section was a big deal. Right. I remember back when I was teaching the Skyline uh -huh. and they were That's trying right. to shut down Madison. Right. And right. they were they were trying to shut right. down Madison right. and push everybody over to Lincoln. Down. Okay. Uh -huh. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you remember they were trying to get that Olympic bid in. Yes. That's what that was about. That didn't pan out. Now, did yeah, it? sure didn't. Cause they were trying to make that Olympic road down there. Right, right. Yeah. And this used to be businesses, whether it was blacks, Jews, or Italian. This was very popular, very clean neighborhood, and uh, uh, you know some of the major black-owned business, Bacchus Cleaners, used to be down there. What was it called? Bacchus, Bacchus, Bacchus. Cleaners. He was very uh, involved in civic uh, matters for uh, African American people. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Uh -huh. Now you see, this is '75. They cut uh, on this I side. They brought see. it around. Okay. They brought it around. Yeah. Now I see. Okay. But back Earth there was '45. Right uh, at the light is uh, Airbay. Is that yeah. it? No. That's close to Airbay. Yeah. This, huh. When when we moved over, this could be straight down that way, okay. and the bus service was provided for the people to catch the bus and go work at the white neighborhoods. Gotcha. Okay, and it ran every what MT? What did these minutes? businesses used to be? Uh, cleaners, uh, uh, dry goods stores where you go and buy clothes, Army Navy store, you know. Wow. Yes. How about that? Yes, ma'am. He used to go clean down to. Uh, down there across this used along. to be a, a, a funeral, funeral home. home right that was a funeral home uh-huh mcgowan that McGowan was a big, funeral. and it's uh -huh. still a funeral home it's still a funeral home somebody How about else that? Huh. used to be houses up in here yeah now yeah. they're newer homes uh-huh on both sides on houses both sides. and apartments all this used to be houses and apartments yeah yeah the club night club down here what you know about that nightclub, Uncle MT? I ain't nothing. Guess what? <laughs> Don't be Get started, girl. <laughs> guess what? Baby, <laughs> you're in bad shape. <laughs> Go ahead, Strell. I, I used to hang out with my dad at the gambling shack. Oh, I my. Know. I tell you, don't get him started. You're going to hey. have all that on the recorder. That's all right. <laughs> Nobody's she judging. My, uh, that's so nobody funny. be at home but my mom. Now, they didn't have yeah. this. They didn't have this. This was uh, yeah. buildings or uh, houses. Okay, gotcha. Okay. And see that old plant right there? Yeah. But see, DISD come in here and buy all, all of those stuff. stuff. Yeah, uh -huh. I see that. Yeah. But they were factories where people worked. Yeah. Yeah. They were factories. What kind of factories were they? Do you remember? I really yeah. don't know. April, I, I they had an uh, American Beauty Flower right up here. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, the, the mill. Uh -huh. The old mi mill, yeah. And uh, what about that paper plant? Uh, it, uh, that, that was back on the back bar. Back on the other side. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Right here the, was the post office. Right there. Right here at this building? Yeah. That, that was a post office. It looks like it used to be Oh, yes. Post that's office. exactly right. That's the post that's office. That's somebody's house. Uh -huh. looks like. That's used to be the post office. Now, right do there. I turn on Corinth, MT? Uh -huh. Do I turn on Corinth? Yeah. To get to where we used to stay? Yeah. Okay. That's what I'll tell you. I remember that little bit. That's what a, was right here on this corner? That's a neat uh, building. 
Yep. Yeah, right here, right there. Mm -hmm. Used to be a bakery right there. Really? Right here yeah, on this get, corner or yeah, over there? Right there. Wow. Get where is it? Where that? Stuff. Okay. On, we get them. What was that, Sunbeam? I forgot the name of that place, but it was a bakery right there. Uh, uh -huh. I bet it was good. And that provided jobs for black people. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a neat building. Uh -huh. oh. What was this? Uh -huh. What was this? Houses? Yeah. No, nah, it wasn't no houses though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This was all a business, business, business. district. Businesses. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, more businesses started popping in. More yeah, I business. see that. See the produce people? Yeah. They started coming in and taking over. Yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a grocery store over here on Harwood. Where was that? On that side? On uh, the left. On the left side. Right here? Yeah. On, over yeah, there? Right where, there was grocery right store. Right here on this corner. Named what? Benson Grocery Store. Uh -huh. Benson Grocery Store. Huh. Right there on that corner. And what was up here for the house, where this mm -hmm. building, this multicolor building is right here? Like they're gas know, station. Wasn't nothing there for it, I know. Okay. They're putting in the gas They're station. just putting that up there. Okay. Now, I know we don't keep on straight. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you keep straight. The road dead in. We live back oh. down there. We are back this way. Yeah, we live back to the back left. To the, uh, but businesses start popping in April. I see yeah. that. I That's don't right. remember you what turn was. Left here. Yeah, you turn left here. I, I see that. Now I know. I know something. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I never was at the house. Only Mama stayed by herself. Come on, light. What was on that corner? What was over here where it's a uh, bacon? Can you remember? I can't remember what was there, but we stayed right there. But it wasn't, a, it wasn't a house, I can tell you that, April, because you, uh, it wasn't a yeah. house. We yeah. had more. We stayed back. You had to turn. We, had, we stayed back, down by the railroad track back down there to the left. But all of this wasn't there until, no. until you know, we started moving. The, that used to be a store too, or a cafe or something, MT. I don't remember that. Okay, I remember it was some kind of business up here. Yeah. Okay, and uh, then, like I said, the businesses started popping in. Okay. Yep. And moved us out. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You got your yellow no. light, Granny. I don't even think we can get to our own street, MT. No, nah, we can't. We can't. It's gone? Uh-huh. Yeah, they got it cut out. Uh-huh. They got it blocked out for those new apartments up there. So that's where y'all used to live? Back over in there. Yeah, for those there, apartments, right? Back mm -hmm. over in there. I'm going to go down that street right there. Yeah, because so right back there, like going a few streets back, that's where we have our classes at on Good Latimer. At mm -hmm. Good, uh, it's called now, Good Co-working Space. you can see how the businesses start moving in and uh -huh. primarily back during that time it was these pro the produce companies yeah various produce companies start moving in yeah. and That's they were supplying to the farmers market uh -huh. and to the grocery stores that were coming up gotcha yeah, we stayed back over there yeah hickory i said it. yeah i said hickory, i heard this little place hickory. is good over here really uh -huh. This wasn't here, April. Yeah, back no. Back. Yeah, yeah, this April. is all new stuff. The railroad track down here where we stayed on there. What well, railroad track they took that up? Did they? They sure did. We stayed back down there. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that strange? Mm -hmm. It's strange that they, you know, like, you it can't even see the street down. you used to live on. Part. No, it wasn't. They, they didn't cut all this out. Uh -huh. Yeah. It, it wasn't yeah. even. Like you can't even see the street you used to live uh -huh. on. It's gone. Uh -huh. Wow. And they were shotgun houses. Am yeah. I right, MT? Yeah. yeah, they were shotgun Rows houses. Rows of shotgun yeah. houses. Yeah. I remember well, that. Long house. Long. Yeah, all the way down. You on the front door? Yeah, you see all the way to the yeah. Wow. And the bathtub was out there. Hello? Was it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh. Back over in there. Oh, yeah. Back down there? I don't remember being that far back. Huh? I don't remember being that far back. I know you. I told you. Me and me and daddy used to walk to the grocery store on the cross railroad tracks. 
Well, they took the railroad tracks up. Now, put that in there. They took the railroad tracks they up. They took the railroad tracks I'm still recording. We can't even find the railroad tracks. No, you can't. <laughs> you know, you just go and tell your black neighborhood across the railroad track. You can't you, even you find know what? the railroad track You know anymore. what? That's true. Historically, yeah. the railroad right track there. in most towns has been the divider of neighborhoods. Like, you yeah, go to you a lot of towns in Texas. I can't vouch for everywhere else. Yeah, no, no. The black side and the white side divided by the railroad track. Stay. Yeah, back over now. I know it went over here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep, it's different, different parts. Time. Okay, honey, I'm gonna get you the live update. Paper time. How about that? Yep, we can't even find it, April. That's sad. Uh, See how it's on Lincoln Street. It's on Lincoln I'm Street. I'm sorry, because that, that sucks. Like, you should at least be able to see the street. It's back right. down the middle way. That's really unfortunate. It wasn't up this far. No, it wasn't down this far. Mm. Oh, we didn't find out anything about Irving Street until we moved on Colonial. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. That's it? That's it? That's it?